all done and ready to go so yeah pretty much kept everything I'm back a duffel bag two luggage here and yes 10 days quarantine ends here now moving to my actual dormitory My first time breathing fresh air outside, like legally, I mean I've been coming out for some days But yeah, it's my first time coming out Officially free And then I can enjoy pretty much everything Oh, look, there's a Tesla over there Damn, that's really cool But yeah, so I've just ordered myself a, a bolt And then I'll be carrying these two luggages there as well Hopefully, hopefully everything goes well so What I'm getting, I'm getting a BMW 3 Series, man Yeah, is that what people get here? Damn Right, after some time pushing stuff in and now I'm in my hole. I'm reach I've reached my room. So that is very cool. Some simple simple room stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pack all my stuff. And yeah, a beautiful view outside. Let me just maybe have a time lapse or something. Cool. Alright, even after an hour of like pack, like cleaning up and something, I'm, I'm still not done with it. There's still some stuff there. And yeah, Varine is here. <laughs> She's doing her own stuff because I've deepened her. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm just gonna do some simple unboxing there because uh, the school actually provided with some, with, with some freebies here. So yeah, let's just have a look. Let me just set the camera here. And then let's do this. So. Let's open this up and see. There is some. Wow, damn, that's a lot of flyers. Okay, a lot of flyers here. There's actually one from Gift Gaff. I think it's some playing cards. And then some SIM card as well. Wow, there's even more stuff here. I won't go through those. But first, let's see what's this. <laughs> Vegan mayo. Okay, that's cool. It's very interesting. Then we have some body wash. Is this body wash? Okay, this is body wash. Antiperspirin? I don't know. Yeah, I think some kind of deodorant, something like that. Then we have a small drink here. Oh, medium apple cider. That's cool. That's very cool. What's the percentage? 4.5. That's very nice. We don't have cup noodles, but then I mean, there's cup noodles as well. But it's a pasta. Bolognese pasta. Now what's left here? Then they really do have a lot of flyers. Oh, a mento Mentos Pure Fresh. Finally, I think some tea. Wow, some tea here. Taylors of Harrow Great Yorkshire Tea. 10 tea bags, 10 free brews. That's really nice. And then I believe there's even more flyers here, which I'll which I'll go through later. But yeah, I I'm actually going out for lunch later. And after that, I think I'll be back and then I'll Continue packing before my room tour. Hey everyone. Damn, why is it so dark? Hello. Can you like be brighter a bit? But yes, so why is there no 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 room tour yet? A very very big reason here because I figure out that yeah my my room is still a mess. Like even in the background you can see see that it's a mess. That's why I had to order some stuff from Argos. Actually I, I was gonna just buy a few things, but then I found out that yeah, I could have just ordered delivery and buy a, a lot more stuff. So, because I do need more storage and some, some furniture-ish to, to, to com complement my, my whole room and all that. That's why I decided to, to order them and some of them, uh, most of them came, but still, I will now record my unpacking and then the time-lapse about me putting up all this stuff and maybe a short update before I head into before I head into the full room tour where I will need to wait for a few more Amazon parcels to complete my whole room. So yeah, let's start now. Hi 
Hi everyone, today is a Friday and then something exciting because my Amazon parcel have arrived. My new 27 inch monitor, I, I couldn't get like a 34 like last time because it's so expensive. Like, yeah, <laughs> and then uh, I mean like I, I wanted to get a 32 inch as well, but then like the price difference is a bit huge and I don't think I really need that since my table is like so small, so might as well just fit a 27 inch. And of course there's like a few other parcels there as well. And now I'm just gonna set them up. And finally like my room might be almost done. So yeah, let's get to it, let's get to it. Hello everyone, so it's been actually a week since I moved in and finally today I have pieced together everything so I can actually make a proper room tour, yeah, a <laughs> proper room tour that I'm satisfied with. So uh, my room is actually pretty small so like from this view you can pretty much see anything like here's the side and then like at the back it's like a, a window and then like on the other side which is blocked by this wardrobe over here, it's literally my bed and yeah so let us just start with this basin here so okay what i live here is actually a i lived in the willoughby hall and this is a shared bathroom single study room something like that so we have our own basin but then if you were to go to the toilet or the bath it's actually in the shared area so you have to bring your stuff out so over here I have like my personal hygiene stuff, some facial stuff and then like those are sh shampoo and then body gel for, for showering. So there's just a small basin that they provide so you can do your personal hygiene here easier. And then over at the side we have a, a wardrobe here and then up there I actually place everything that I have. <laughs> like, like some random stuff which I'm not using that urgent yet. Even my camera stand is up there. So over here there's a, a very nice wardrobe which they didn't actually provide enough hangers so I had to order my own and then I think it arrived. Oh it arrived on Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday I actually forgot. So yeah there's like literally everything. Uh, I fit most of my clothing in here. Yeah, quite nice. Uh, luckily I didn't bring any more of clothing so now that this is done uh yeah actually with all the hangers I've, i'm finally able to close it up because previously there's not enough hangers so um i couldn't actually keep everything into my wardrobe i have to like place it somewhere out here like i've put it on my luggage and all that so yeah now that mm, everything is here i can like just easily find my clothes in there but yeah not all my clothes is just in this wardrobe it, it's like hit it's like kept in another drawer which I'll go to in this in a while so over here um, yep I have my yoga mat which I don't really use now <laughs> unfortunately then here's my towel and then there's an the interesting thing here so instead of giving like all those buttons or switch you actually use this to turn off the main light over here so yeah if I pull if I pull just right now yes that light actually turns off. It's actually quite interesting because like from all the movies and stuff, we kind of see all this, but then like in Malaysia, we don't really have it. Uh, yeah, it's just fun, like useful or not. Yeah, it, it depends on people. So like right at the entrance, that's like literally the door into the hallway. And then right at the entrance, I have my all my shoes here, my nice new pink Birkenstocks, my casual, casual flower running shoe. It used to be the running shoe, but now that it's retired, so it's like casual shoe, running shoes, and I have my Stan Smith. My stance bit more like more professional occasion all that and then yeah this hidden behind all this code is actually a coat stand which i bought from argos for like 12 pounds it's actually not that cheap i mean i mean the quality is not bad like, i guess in, in uk like stuff are not that cheap but then like their quality is not as bad as like the cheap stuff that you get in Malaysia so I guess it's worth it I guess so yeah like I put all my jackets here and then my my caps here and then yeah some 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 socks down there so, so it's like just an easy accessible area so I don't have to like open and close my wool drop just to find find whatever jacket that I need for the day so now onto here this is my bed right beside my table here and 
yeah let me just pull this chair aside i don't really have space to put my my bag yet so i just like leave it here and then down there i just place my monitor box it's quite unfortunate stuff i actually wanted to put all my luggage down here but then it was just like slightly higher so i can't just fit it in and i don't want to break my luggage so yeah like that's why i didn't put it in here so this is my bed it's interesting because so we have a duvet up here like duvet is like kind of a blanket and then we have another duvet down here so this is another duvet actually so what happened was that uh, the university actually doesn't provide any of the bed shit so like your your bed fitted sheet and then your duvet your duvet cover even pillow and pil pillow covers is not included when you come into this accommodation so you have to either get it yourself or you can buy a small a cheap package like 17 pounds from the university which i actually bought so they came with this uh this duvet and then not this pillow actually yeah this flat pillow down here and then like a fitted sheet yeah the fitted sheet is okay the duvet is quite low quality like the cover is okay but then the duvet is bad the pillow is bad it's like look at look at this this is so so <laughs> it's not even a pillow you know i don't know like it's it's more like a cushion seat yeah you know, cushion seat something like that it, it feels more like that so i actually went to argos and then got myself two pillows this actually yeah there's a pillow cover i got myself two nice pillows so i can sleep well and then a duvet as well so this is a thicker duvet they have like some kind of standard here like tog which stands for like the higher tog like the warmer it is i got a 13.5 i think tog instead of a normal 10.5 like the duvet is okay just that i don't really like the quality so i get another one and now i'm sleeping on a duvet and i have a duvet covering me and yes my cute little dog plush here <laughs> so yes this is like basically my bed a very comfy bed right now like damn i really like it then up here we have a window into the outside to, to look at the outside it's actually quite nice it's quite a nice view but then like now uh, it's dark so no, it's like eight at night so you can't really see anything but yes like so now over here it's literally my desk just a small that it was originally there like like facing in that direction but then i decided to move it here one reason is that i really like to just see things and to be able to see things when i'm working like it's not that boring looking at a wall and then second thing is i can literally just use use this table as like my bedside table so i have like lamp here and then like my clock here so yes so this uh this setup is pretty much almost the same as what i had when back in malaysia so i have my 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 podcast mic setup which i brought from malaysia my my mouse pad with rgb and then oh this monitor is a new addition so this is actually let me just pull this up okay then let me just sit down so this this monitor is actually a 27 inch monitor it's i just literally it just arrived today uh, okay give me a second to load everything yeah it's a dell 27 inch um, full hd monitor uh, 75 hertz and then what other details i'm not sure what other details is there I, the main thing is that i i just wanted a big monitor originally i was thinking like 32 inch but then yeah i fear that if i get a 32 inch because look at my desk it's like so small if i get a 32 inch i won't have enough space you know it will go towards the side and then it will cover up the top as well so basically i can't really see what's outside and then my 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 laptop will be further away and even because this is not like a table where you can just like sit in the middle so if i sit here it's preferably that whatever i see here will be like in the middle now it's like tilted towards the right so if i have a 32 inch it will be like even 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 more to the right so i got a 27 inch and then it's quite reasonable the price again 110 pounds it's actually cheaper than malaysia when i search on like, that, like brand new or something but yeah just one thing is that i realized i forgot how low the pixel density was like with a full hd on a 27 inch so now working on this i i i haven't got used to the low pixel density yeah <laughs> if i if i'm getting a 32 inch i'm getting a quad hd which will be a lot better but you know working on this and then especially the distance is so short i'm still learning to get used to it but yeah i'm glad that it has arrived and then i can put my webcam up here and a lot more stuff more organized like i have my wireless charger here like yeah, some of my 
my, my, my stuff here. Yeah, now I'm not charging the EDK, so it's here. And then, yes, at the side, I have my, my MacBook here. And then actually down here, I have a new stand because I forgot to bring my own. So I have to buy this off my Amazon. It's like quite expensive, like 10 pounds, 6, 58, 58 ringgit to be exact. Yeah, so I mean like it's portable so I can bring it anywhere, but I'm not sure if I'll bring it anywhere because <laughs> I need to just like place it. Yeah, I don't want to move that around. But yeah, at the back, we have the same USB dongle connecting the mouse pad, the microphone, and then the camera. And then over here, my camera lights, my new Nelson Mandela book, a great book, still reading it. And then yeah, some, 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 some of my stuff. And over here, they provided just four plugs here, but then since I am actually one, uh, one of them, this, this one is actually for the fridge. This one, I believe, is yeah. That's for the the kettle, and then the one the one farthest on the left is for this extension, which I connect my monitor, the sixty five watt uh, amazing portable charger. The one on the left is the the table lamp, and then the one on the right is my Belkin wireless charger. So the one left here is just connected to this hair dryer here because yeah, I really want to dry my hair. And then bottom is just my luggage because I have nowhere else to put them. So I just like, put it here, making it like a table. Yes, over here, they actually came, they actually provided a very, very nice mini fridge so I can store some of the cool stuff here. Oops, okay, what's, what fell down? Okay, so yeah, over here, I have some yogurt, some chocolate, Coke and then some oat milk i i finally get a chance to like just buy oat milk here because like the price is like 50 pen pence i think 50 pence difference so i uh, like yeah let's just get that it's not as like the price is run between normal milk and oat milk isn't that different in uk compared to malaysia so yeah then here i have a duffel bag oh i actually forgot to bring this take this out duffel bag for when i go to the gym or something my trash can a uh, laundry bag and then this yeah a box that 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 was used to hold the cooked hanger which i haven't bring it to recycling and up here is my amazing shelf that they provide which i packed a ton of stuff so the bottom layer i have my books here and yeah my plane my portable mic which is not the portable but I will bring it around when I'm gonna use it and then some of my alcohol and yeah, um, some card games as well actually. <laughs> then the second level, I have some face masks, I mean like facial masks, not really those disposable face masks where we use after Covid <laughs> and then a bunch of food here because yeah, like they gave us a, because I'm living in a catered hall so they gave me a a 25 pound card every single week where I will spend it for my lunch. Sometimes if you don't spend it, the, the value will get resetted every single week. It's like you can't carry carry forward. So I just bought all the snacks. <laughs> I mean, I try to buy healthy stuff. So yeah, well, healthy stuff whenever I can, if I kind of just get some snacks, which I like. Up there we have, yeah, just random stuff. Oh, and it's a yoga block and then like some massa massage ball from, from earlier when they gave the, the quarantine package okay so that is almost it for my for my tour but there's one last thing so all three drawers here so even though they gave me a wardrobe and it's very small so it's not enough to like keep everything so over here first we have our first layer which i just put all the essentials essential -ish stuff like yeah there's even spoons here like pens uh, a lot of <laughs> medicine stuff from Malaysia. Yeah, I even have like SIM cards here, which I haven't used and I actually st stuffed my socks there. Yeah, I should probably find a better way to store that. So store that. So yeah, that's just a bunch of random stuff here. And second level, I think it's my clothes. So I just keep my clothes here nice and like casual clothes, like formal clothes are definitely in that wardrobe. And then here, some of my pants, like workout, workout pants, and then like some shorts. And finally, the last one, which I used to store um, really, really random stuff. But that includes face masks, I guess, utilities. Yeah, there's even like some rendang, which I brought from Malaysia. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Okay, so yes, 
I guess that pretty wraps up wraps it up. Like it's a pretty small room, but then I try to make it as homey as possible since yeah, it's like really my first time living alone and abroad. So I kind of spent some money on like all this uh, coat stand and all that. I really want to buy more more storage. I'll probably do that in the future. I'll see. But the one thing which I really uh, wanted is the monitor and I'm glad that I actually invested in that so yeah the full HD thing is a bit <laughs> I regret it a bit but then like if I were to upgrade it to Quad HD or 4k that will like, cost a ton so yeah <laughs> at least I got a monitor now so yes uh, thanks everyone for watching and if you like this video do like share and subscribe maybe consider checking out my previous video which is some video recommended by youtube for you or maybe you can check out the podcast which i created with my girlfriend and it's called ink thoughts podcast where we just discuss incongruous thoughts in our daily life thanks everyone for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video goodbye